in previous lecture i already discussed this rule of inference these are important just remember this in next example i'm going to use it example 3 so that the premises it is not sunny this afternoon and it is colder than yesterday we will go swimming only if it is sunny if we do not go swimming then we will take a canoe trip and if we take a canoe trip then we will be home by sunset lead to the conclusion we will be home by sunset so we need to prove this by rule of inference let me take p is it is sunny this afternoon q is it is colder than yesterday r is we will go swimming s is we will take a canoe trip t is we will be home by sunset now first statement it is not sunny this afternoon and it is colder than yesterday it is sunny this afternoon is p and it is colder than yesterday is q so it is not sunny it will be negation p and it is colder than yesterday so negation p and q that is the first premises next second statement will go swimming only if it is sunny so will go swimming is r and it is sunny is p so r implies p will go swimming if it is sunny so p is it is sunny r is will go swimming next statement if we do not go swimming then we'll take a canoe trip r is we'll go swimming if we do not go swimming so negation r implies s if we do not go swimming and s for we'll take a canoe trip next if we take a canoe trip then we'll be home by sunset so that is s implies t s says we'll take a canoe trip and t is we'll be home by sunset so s implies t is for if we take a canoe trip then we will be home by sunset then conclusion is we will be home by sunset so conclusion is simply t we need to derive t from these premises we have four premises from that four premises we need to conclude t first premise is negation p and q negation p and q means negation p is true also q is true in case of and if both are true then it's true that's why negation p will be true according to simplification from this one next r implies p it's the premises given we found r implies p is true and negation p is true means p is false so this p is false means r cannot be true r implies p is true that's why r should be false in case of r true and p false true implies false will be false but it's given r implies p is true and p is false so r is also false that's why negation r by modest tolerance using 2 and 3 negation p is true r implies p is true so negation r is true i already discussed modest tolerance in previous lecture next premises is negation r implies s and we found negation r is true at four step and negation r implies s is a premises so s will be true according to more exponents using four and five now s is true and s implies t s implies t is the premises so s is true s implies t is true so this t is also true according to more exponents and that is our conclusion so from these premises we conclude that t is true means we will be home by sunset you can also prove by truth table but there are five variable five variable means 2 power 5 there will be 32 rows so the table will be so big but here by just 8 step we prove that t is true let's see another example example 4 so that the premises if you send me an email message then i will finish writing the program then if you do not send me email message then i will go to sleep early and if I go to sleep early, then I will wake up feeling refreshed. Lead to the conclusion, if I do not finish writing the program, then I will wake up feeling refreshed. So let me consider P is 
you send me an email message q is i'll finish writing the program r is i'll go to sleep early s is i'll wake up feeling refreshed now for statement if you send me an email message then i will finishing writing the program so if you send me the email message that is p and i will finish writing the program that is q so p implies q is the first premises next statement if you do not send me an email message then i'll go to sleep early do not send me an email message so negation p and i will sleep early that is r so negation p implies r next if i go to sleep early then i will wake up feeling refreshed i will go to sleep early that is our r and i will wake up feeling refreshed that is our s so r implies s and the conclusion is if i do not finish writing program do not finish writing program is negation q then i will wake up feeling refreshed that is our s so negation q implies s we need to derive this negation q implies s from these premises now first premises p implies q we need to find negation p so for every implication its contrapositive is also true and contrapositive is negation q implies negation p i already discussed contrapositive during implication of propositional logic so negation q implies negation p is true as it is contrapositive of p implies q now negation q implies negation p is true and negation p implies r is true according to second premises so there is a rule of inference hypothetical syllogism according to that negation q implies r is true if p implies q is true q implies r is true then p implies r is true so here negation q implies negation p then negation p implies r so negation q implies r is true according to hypothetical syllogism using 2 and 3 next premises r implies s so again we will use hypothetical syllogism so negation q implies r r implies s so negation q implies s will be true according to hypothetical syllogism using 4 and 5 and this is our conclusion so that's why we conclude from the premises that negation q implies s is true if i do not finish writing the program then i'll wake up feeling refreshed this is true so by just six step we prove the conclusion in today lecture i discuss two example of checking validity in next lecture i will discuss resolution if today lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you